Hello YouTube, I hope you all have a fun summer, uh, yeah, I want to address a movie named Hotel Transylvania, if you didn't know what it is, let me explain, Hotel Transylvania is an American animated media franchise created by comedy writer Todd Dur Durham. Sorry, um, Durham? Durham? Okay, let's just get on with it. And produced by Sony Pictures Animation, it consists of four feature films, three short films, a flash animated TV series, and several video games. Now, it's a lot more than that because Vampire Dracula in the Lord of the Valm Helsings. But that's not the point here. I love this film, and I loved it, but there is a problem. It's all about lies. You see, multiple characters in the films lie and deceive each other. In the first film, Dracula lied. You see, in the first film, his wife had passed due to humans killing and burning. Um, this hippie over here is Johnny. He, on accident, went to Hotel Transylvania, causing this greedy liar to lie. One could argue that this was for suspense and uh, climax but no all the films have multiple lies it's basically a repetitive thing in the series in hotel transylvania 2 there was not one but two liars in this film yes you don't look so smug dracula the reasoning for lying was for the redhead son, his name is, um, Dennis? Basically, Dracula wanted him to stay at the hotel, while Mavis wanted... So, in terms of... Um, Dracula once again lies. In Johnny is in on it too. As capisci as it was, there were two liars and yeah, they got caught. But were never actually punished. Is this a coincidence? I think not. In the film, do they grow over the series? No, they don't. Because your characters are supposed to grow in their stories. They need something to sample from and become better people. And this is concerning too because kids are watching this. And kids will take- Will adapt from this and use it in their own world. See, they get caught but they're never punished for it. The next film. Hotel Transylvania 3, Summer Vacation, there is one liar here, but the answer is multiple, as he lies when he gambles. Yes, don't you look so small, Dracula, you're in this too. Our girl, Erica Van Helsing, also lies. When he tried to kill Dracula. I mean, when she tried to kill Dracula. Basically hiding it from her father and him for trying to zing twice. And also... Now there is more liars, I think, but... I'm seeing more repetition from Dracula more than anything else. I could list more, but... I'm not willing to. Our fourth and final series in the 
Hotel Transylvania entries are Hotel Transylvania for Transformania. Change can be scary. I know. Now we have a wire here. Again, repetition of the main character line. And that is Count Dracula. Now Drac does worse here. As you see, he had to lend the hotel to somebody because he would retire one day. But when when Johnny came around he wasn't really seen as a member of the family, so he wanted to lie so that his daughter would get it. Oh, and in this series, she's the one that arrests, them, that arrests them for their dreams by stopping them. And before we get into any more lies, the actor of Dracula changed and is now Brian Hall. He does impressions of voices and he was sad to partake in this. So yeah, congrats to him for making an effort in this movie filled with flies. Anyways. So, in the films, so John felt like he wasn't wanted in the hotel because he just felt lonely, so Van Helsing came along and made a thing that would turn him into a literal monster. If you're wondering how he's still there, let me explain. So, he was a human. So, but... Anyways, so he tried to kill Dracula here, and one day he would fall, and he would plot to get revenge. He lost his body parts due to things in the water. Anyways, in Transylvania 3, he, he then corroborate on his revenge on Dracula and all the monsters to get eradicate them. And sorry, my little nephew Abel is ruining video my video I'm making here right now. Um in the end he almost falls but Dracula saves him and now they're all coexisting peacefully. I'd say this was a bit brutal than the guy falling off. Anyways, the gadget gets out of hand, and then he turns into human, which, um, yeah, Dracula now has to try and find a way to return everything to normal and bring Johnny back to human before Ma Mavis notices. And guess what? Mavis, once again, catches them in the act. Due to this, um, during the scene where they had a uh, little bondage, he said there was a lie that t that Dracula told. I'm sorry, I'm stuttering. Um, he said only monsters or whatever the thing is that are so that's why he. So that's why Johnny turned into the thing in the first place, because he thought that only monsters can be on the hotel. Um, but then Mavis catches Dracula in the act, and due to this, he then... Johnny feels betrayed, then, after this, after this information, he ran away. And yeah, that's why I'm gonna say his actions are more severe in the final movie. Because not only did he really start this lie in the first place, but he also almost got everything killed and ruined. Anyways, I'd say his actions are more severe. 
So anyways, the monsters were in on this too. Be it Wayne, Griffin, Frank, they all got turned into humans. Um, the ladies have to try and stop this madness. Both Erica and Mavis were to stop this. So yeah, how many lies in total? Sorry if we're talking about one, Drac lied to Mavis, Drac and Johnny lied to Mavis. Drac is lied by Erica and four, Drac lied to Johnny. Credits to this comment, Turbo Boy. Overall, Dracula lied the most out of all the monsters. And let's say that's because he's the protagonist. Anyways, I hope you guys can understand why I'm pointing this out. But I am. Anyways, bye. Thank you guys. I'll do a part two on why this movie focuses on lies.